Hello friends, welcome back to Tech with Viresh. In the continuation to our series on Apache Spark Deep Dive, today we'll pick up a very interesting and a very important concept of partition pruning and predicate pushdown. Uh, this is a very important concept from the fact that how you can optimize your overall query performance, specifically queries involving the filtering of the data and joining of the data. So guys, let's start. So what is partitioning pruning? As the name suggests, uh, you know, any Spark table or Spark Hive table, if in case you're working with Databricks, partitioning kind of optimizes uh, the kind of, the number of files or partitions you need to read from when you're trying to access that data. Because when you partition a data, it would be stored in the uh, directory format where your partitioning key would be the name of the folder and all the files corresponding to that particular partition would be kept inside that directory. So <clears throat> if you see this particular example, we have some data uh, where we have uh, partitions the data based on the year and you see there is a high level directory with the year 2018 and there is another directory with 2017 and all the data files uh, like these Sparky files belonging to that particular year would fall under the corresponding directories. So the this partitioning optimize the whole process how you will scan or read the data while performing your queries or Spark APIs. So let's try to see how it happens. If we follow the normal data flow, uh, if you're trying to do some kind of a filtering of data, you applied some sort of where clause or a filter clause. Uh, the first, the Spark engine will read the that particular data uh, corresponding to the data frame or the table on which you are trying to apply the where or filter clause. And then uh, out of all those records, which are already brought in the memory, by reading that data frame, uh, we will do a filtering and find out the records corresponding to the filter condition. But, uh, so this will bring in the entire data set and then you will filter a subset of that based on your condition. But if we just invert the situation and we do the filtering before even you read the entire set of data, that will optimize your entire operation. And same is the concept of partition pruning. If you have already your uh, partition your data on the key where, uh, on the key on which you are applying the filtering then the spark system will bring in this concept of partition pruning and only read the data corresponding to that directory which is your filtering key because the data is already partitioned uh, on that key and it will only read the data under that key or folder. So that will that will make the entire operation faster because now we'll only read the limited set of data and then we'll apply the filtering on top of that. Uh, chorus, or, I mean, if you compare it to the previous basic flow where we scan or read the entire data and then apply filtering. So this concept of filtering the data before applying the operation or doing the full scan is called partition pruning and predicate pushdown. Let's take an example. Suppose I have written my data frame and I did a partition of the data frame on some key. Here is the source. We have taken some kind of uh, uh, flight data where the source tells the, what is the source of that flight. And I have partitioned that flight data based on this source key and I have saved it as a table, as a hype table. If I query my Hadoop lake, I'll see the structure of how the data is stored would be something like this. There would be a directory created with the name as SRC is equal to the name of the destination. For each unique source, there will be a different directory. And all the corresponding uh, records or data for that particular source would be kept under this directory, right? Now, when we try to say read this data or apply some sort of filtering 
on the same partition key. Now my partition key is source. I applied the filtering on the same partition key. Then we will, if we try to look at the physical plan, we'll see that only one partition is red because there is a separate directory for source is equal to Denver DEN. And the Spark is smart enough, it will just go to that particular directory and read all, all the data under it. So it will not touch the other directories and other data. So if you see here in the physical plan, the, old, the partition red is only one, which corresponds to source is equal to 10. And here the filter pushdown, the predicate filter pushdown has come into the picture. So as the name suggests, it has already pushed down the filter below the scan. Right? If you remember the picture we shows, the filter has been pushed down below the scan. So first we are filtering the data based on the partition key and then we are doing the further scan based on the filtering condition. So this is the concept of partition pruning and predicate pushdown. Uh, let's try to conclude what is the advantage and how should we utilize this partitioning mechanism so that we have the optimal partitioning pruning and predicate pushdown. Uh, the whole idea is the partition column or the partition key should be used more frequently in your queries, be it your joins or your where clauses or your filtering conditions. Another very important thing to take care of is the partition key should be selected in such a way that key, a unique or distinct key in itself should be a smaller number and it cover and should cover a broader span of data. Right? So, so I don't want inverse of it. I don't want that I have too many folders and very little data files inside it. It should be other way around. I have limited number of folders and the number of data files inside it should be more than that. So we will have we need to select the partition key very judicially. Be otherwise it will create if you will have a partition key such that which is absolutely unique or you have very wide range of that partition key, you will run into the small file problem. Right. I've discussed the small file problem in a separate video, but at a very high level for each file or for each block you know, or at a very simple term for each uh, file in the HDFS or Hadoop, there will be a separate MapReduce process which will create the performance overheads. So we want to avoid that small file problem. At the same time, it should not happen that my uh, partition is uh, so uh, dense that under each partition, I have huge amount of data. So that when I'm trying to read that data, I'm getting into the problems of outer memory or so much of data has not been able to load into the executor memories. So it is very important to pick the judicially the partition key, which is neither too small or neither too dense. So guys, this that's it in this particular video, partition pruning and predicate pushdown. Have a good day. Bye bye. This part works. So guys, that's it in this particular video. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.